it's our obligation as the federal government to provide some certainty to ensure that our wetlands and our precocians are protected, but also that we don't place undue burdens on farmers. And so we are revisiting the existing waters of the U.S. rule, uh, and we're focused through stakeholder engagement, looking at the full authority that we have, uh, un, un, uh, that Congress has given us, and we are going to go through a process where we put a rule in place that's durable, long-lasting, and protects our water quality. We were one of the first states in the country to jump on it and realize that it was a problem and go after the polluters who were putting these toxic chemicals into our water system. And the problem was that uh, we didn't have the, the arm of the federal government to help us to try to set standards. We put some preliminary standards in place. We formed a science advisory board uh, with Secretary, then Secretary Regan to begin pushing this and we put an order in place on Comores. So we took those steps, but we knew that it was gonna require strong EPA action. It's why we kept asking for it and why I was glad to see Administrator Regan, who had the experience in North Carolina, knew what we went through uh, to begin the process at the federal level. I think we're gonna work really well together and I think most all of the states are going to appreciate this. Uh, PFAS is no different. Waters of the U.S. is no different. Environmental justice is part of the DNA of EPA. And so all of our offices uh, have been uh, given the assignment of giving me a full accounting of how environmental justice and equity plays out in their regulations and oversight, and they're taking that very seriously.